Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully address the error address unreachable that you're getting on your Windows computer when you're maybe using your web browser. So if you're experiencing this error message, it's more than likely related to perhaps your router or proxy settings. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. So the first thing I would personally suggest would be to actually go to your physical router and restart it or reset it. So if there's an option on your router itself to reset it, there might be like a little circle with a couple arrows pointing around, you might want to consider resetting it and just let it turn back on. You could also try turning it off from the wall and just unplug it and then plug it back in about 30 seconds later. Hopefully then it would be reset and then try and go back on your computer and hopefully the issue will have been resolved. If you're still experiencing an issue, what you can do would be to open up the start menu, just click on the start button one time, Type in Internet Properties. One of the best matches on this list should come back with Internet Options. So you could also alternatively type in Internet Options. I typed in Properties, but we get to the same result as you can see. So I'm just going to left click on Internet Properties there. And now you want to left click on the Connections tab. And then underneath a local area network or LAN settings, LAN settings do not apply to dial-up connections. Choose settings of both for dial-up settings. Hopefully none of you guys are using dial-up. Um, so we're going to select LAN settings here. And now you want to go ahead and uncheck if there's a proxy server in here. You want to go uncheck it. So unselect that and make sure automatically detect settings is checkmarked. Once you're done with that, left click on OK. Left click on OK again. We're so just restarting your computer and hopefully that has resolved the problem. If you're still experiencing a problem, another thing we could try would be to open up the start menu. Just off on the start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now in this elevate command line window, you want to type in IP config. So again, IP config space forward slash flush DNS, all one word, so again IP config, then you want to do a space forward slash flush DNS, hit enter on your keyboard. Once you're done with that, now you want to type in NETSH space WINSOCK, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space a reset, exactly how it appears on my screen, hit enter once you're done with that command, should say you will have to restart your computer in order to complete the reset. We suggest you guys do restart your computer after you've closed out of any open windows, programs, applications, whatnot, and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.